The gyroscopic precession is just mind-blowing. But what will happen when I let go? First, some basics. When the kicker touches the ball, it applies the force that increases momentum of the ball in the same direction. In a similar way, it applies to rotating bodies, like the spinner. Two pins with force increase angular momentum of the spinner. And don't try this at home. Let's do step-by-step -step tests. Enjoy! In first test, the wheel will be free to spin on a fixed axis. The force times the distance from the axis equals the torque applied. The torque increases the angular momentum of the wheel in the same direction. Now, let's see if the wheel with more angular momentum will spin for longer. It does, and with the fixed axis it just rotates, as one would expect. But what happens if the axis will be free to rotate up and down? Without angular momentum, it does as expected. But with angular momentum, Hmm, nothing special happens. Now the axis will also be free to rotate left and right. Now it can spin and rotate left, right, up, down. With no angular momentum, it just drops. But with angular momentum. The gyroscopic precession that is defying gravity. But could fixed vertical axis cause this? Now it's completely free to rotate and move. Time to test again. Still works. So, what is going on here? If motor support would be removed, gravity force times distance equals torque that points away. This torque would try to increase angular momentum in the same way and the wheel would drop. Next, while still supporting the wheel, I greatly increase angular momentum of the wheel in this direction. So system has high angular momentum and torque from gravity is trying to increase angular momentum in its way. Trying is the important part. That is why it will swing its existing large angular momentum in its direction. So pleasant to watch. And if a wheel would spin in the other way, it would start to spin towards you. Something like this. <laughs> 